How are we doing, everybody? I'm Brendan Glassheen, along with DK Live's Adam Levitan and Adam Mancuda of Phantom Sports. They're here to help you make your pick for DraftKings Team Pick'em, presented by Papa John's. You get 25% off any regular menu price orders by using the promo code DK25. All right, we're targeting three games in Week 6 with interesting storylines. Adams, first up, Chargers at Browns. L.A. has won two straight, while Cleveland looks for back-to-back -back wins after beating a division rival. Levy, you first. Chargers have scored at least 23 points in all five games. Do they keep it going and top the Browns? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, this Browns defense is no joke. Extremely talented at all three levels. And the biggest concern for me with the Chargers is the continuing deterioration of their defense. I know they played really well against Derek Carr and those guys in week five. But, man, no Joey Bosa has such a big impact. And all Baker Mayfield does is put up big numbers and move the ball. So at home in front of the dog pound, I think the Browns get it done. Mancuda, do Baker's Browns keep up with the L.A. offense? No, and that's where my concern really is, is Baker Mayfield forcing the issue and trying to keep up with the Chargers. I had the same concern uh, in week five when Blake Bortles went into Kansas City and thinking that he had to keep pace in Arrowhead. Um, again, he's playing home, Baker Mayfield, and he's put up those numbers. But to me, the Chargers are going to be able to score against that Browns defense for as well as they have played. But look, they just shut down a Ravens team, which we know how bad uh, Flacco is in terms of its consistency. Phillip Rivers is much more consistent. They have a much better ground game with Gordon. They have a much better receiver in Keenan Allen. So to me, they're going to be able to score on the Browns a little bit. I'm worried about Mayfield keeping up and thinking in his head, much like he did in that national semifinal game last year against Georgia, that he's going to have to force some throws and make some mistakes. So to me, I like the Chargers going on the road in this one. All right, our next matchup, Mitch Trubisky and the Bears are coming off their bye week and head down to Miami to play the Dolphins. Mancuda, back to you. Trubisky went off against Tampa a few weeks ago. Does the bye cause a setback, or is Chicago in a good spot? Yeah, that's the one thing about this pick where I'm going to go with the Bears that concerns me is that they had all that momentum against the uh, – coming off that Buccaneers win that was really impressive with the six touchdowns from Trubisky. But I do think it gave them another week in that new system for Matt Nagy to really get more comfortable. They've seen what's happened with the Dolphins the last two weeks, getting blown out by Brady, and then really falling apart and blowing that game yesterday, uh, this past week in Cincinnati. So to me, I think the Bears in that defense are going to stifle Tannehill. You know, they still don't really know what's going on with that running game. Drake was terrible for two weeks. Now he had a good week in week five. I don't buy the Dolphins at all. I think they're a fraud team in the AFC. I like the defense traveling on the road with Khalil Mack. I think Trubisky makes enough plays, and I think that he has enough weapons in that on that offense with Robinson, Burton, Cohen, and Howard to make enough plays in Miami and get the win. Levy, the Finns have any shot? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Miami was up 17-3 in the fourth quarter at Cincinnati. If they hang on to that game, and I know it's a big if, but they just completely imploded on some really fluky plays. If they hang on to that game, people are thinking about the Dolphins very differently. I don't think they're good by any stretch, but I don't think the Bears – are good by any stretch either. And the Dolphins have consistently been far, far, far better at home. And, and honestly, I don't think that Mr. Trubisky is any kind of upgrade on Ryan Tannehill. So I'll go ahead and stick with the Dolphins here at home. And finally, Sunday night football in Foxborough. The 5-0 Chiefs take on the Patriots. Should be a good one. Matchup speaks for itself. Levy, who you got? Yeah, if there were no names on the back of the Patriots jerseys, I mean, this would be a huge favorite for the Chiefs. I know they have Brady. I know they have Belichick. That makes a big difference. I know the offense has got some pieces together, but still the talent on the Chiefs side of the ball, particularly offensively, is just so, so, so great compared to what New England is putting out there. So I don't see how the Patriots are going to stop Patrick Mahomes. And yeah, we've seen Tom Brady play really well lately. I mean, that was the perfect, perfect spot against the Colts last week, we're missing at least seven starters. So I think the Chiefs go on the road here uh, and get a win. I know you love Brady, Mancuda, but who's winning this football game? You know, I of course, I love Brady. You got the jersey hanging behind me, and, you know, the typical homer pick would go Pats, and I do think the Pats are going to win this game, and there are a few reasons why. The Chiefs have had two straight games, the Monday nighter against Denver and the game against Jacksonville where they had to really get up for that game. A lot of eyes on those games. How is Mahomes going to do in mile high? How is Mahomes going to do against that Jaguars defense? To do it three weeks in a row is asking a lot of a second-year quarterback. The other piece of this is Belichick and Brady and that team have an extra three days on them in terms of preparation, playing on Thursday night, now playing Sunday night. You know, they had those extra Friday, Saturday, Sunday days to get prep, prepped and ready. And then Mahomes going on the road into Foxborough at night. Look, he's, that offense is electric. 
They're probably the best team in the AFC. Something tells me that Brady and Belichick, you're going to see mad, angry, crazy Tom this Sunday night. And I think that Brady's going to pull it out. Very close, high-scoring game. But again, remember this also. Last year, opening night, the Chiefs went in there and won that game. I think the, the Patriots have redemption on their mind for that as well. I think Belichick's going to get them amped up and ready for this one. So I would think the Patriots are like 35-31, something like that, will pull it out and make a statement in the AFC. All right, should be good. That'll do it for this week's edition of Make Your Pick for DraftKings Team Pick'em, presented by Papa John's. For the two Adams, I'm Brendan. Talk to you next week.